Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, whenever you are watching. So today we're going to be getting into our new project. And this project is going to last us a couple weeks. It's going to be a big project, but don't worry. Hopefully it will be fun and we're breaking it down to multiple parts to ease into this process. So for this project, like I said, it's going to last a couple of weeks, and to get into it, we are going to start, well, first of all, we have our standards and objectives. Um, the standards are there. I will read you guys the objectives, so students will be able to analyze a work of art in a historical context. Students will be able to describe the significance of historical events, and students will be able to successfully create a present-day work demonstrating their understanding of the influence on art. That last one is going to be key because that's going to be what we're really getting into with this project here. So first, we're going to start off with week one and we're going to select an event. So I will have a list of events for you guys to choose from. It will be historical events or time periods that you will use as the basis or foundation of this project. So the few of the things that I have will be like the Spanish flu or even the Italian art renaissance, which is the time period. We have Hiroshima, we have the French Baroque art period, um, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the Black Plague, events like that. There will be more to choose from, but there will be a list of events to follow along those lines. So you will do research on this event. You will find out what this event is, like is it a pandemic? Is it a war? Was there one of the bombings that went on? Is it just a period in time? Maybe a period in time where an art flourished? And you're going to do a sort of informal write-up on this and just kind of be as specific as you can, get as much details as you can for the next part. So that's going to set up for this. So for this, it will be a two-page write-up. This is going to be a little bit more of a thing. We'll probably have a week or two for this. So for this, you're going to need to find three works of art that are either from the time period that you got for your event, or they relate to the event that you got such as for Edward Munch. He did a work on, it was a self-portrait of him during the Spanish flu. So that is a work of art that directly ties into the events by an artist. That one's actually a pretty clear example, but you will want to get down things like how does it connect to the event? Are there certain clues that say that? Is it like Edward Munch's where it has in the title? Um, you want to have, of course, who made the works, things like that. It does not have to be just one artist that you pick. It just has, you just have to have at least three works. Um, and that will be your two page essay on that. And then we are going to put a little pin in this right here. And we're going to start moving on to the second portion of this. We are going to come back to that later fully, but that is our basis for how we're progressing with this project. So now we're going to get into how do things affect you? So looking around, things that affect us, like our culture, an event that's going on, current day, we have COVID going on, there's social media all of these things. So this is going to be a little brainstorming activity where we try to come up with how things affect us and what things affect us. And that will be sort of our event that we were kind of going on in the first part. So that's going to be our current day event. So for this, we're going to take that and we're going to try to figure out how we can incorporate that into a work of art. 
and that work of art will end up most likely being a self-portrait as we're going to get into in these next few slides. So we're going to move on creating our own work. So this will most likely be a self-portrait like I said. So the reason behind this is because for our work we want to make a work of art that is influenced by what's influencing us. So things that are influencing us, such as with this example here, we have her with all these like technology things and you can see YouTube in the background. This is a work of art that was inspired by social media and technology in general that they incorporated into their artwork. And it is a form of self-portrait. So it's a self-expression piece of work. And that is what we're going to be getting into here and you can be as creative as you want with this this part is going to be mainly up to you on what you're going to be doing of course there will be sort of guidelines like if you want to do photography you have to make sure it's not just oh taking the self-portrait and that's done you have to do something to it, do a little bit more, get a little more creative. It does not all have to be collage or digital. You can do paintings, you can do drawings, you can do collage, you can do digital art, um, either drawing or photography if you're editing it. There is a wide range that you are able to do for this project. It just is most likely going to be a self-portrait. Now I say most likely because you can have it not as a self-portrait, but that's only going to be if you are using someone else instead. Like say you wanted to use a family member that you felt like was more influenced by maybe technology than you were or they have something else going on in their life, like maybe something medical, so you want to show them with this medical condition or something, then you can do that. But otherwise, it is going to be your own self-expression. So going on, I have some examples of this, some more examples. Um, these first two, the one on the left in the middle, were created by me and the one on the right is a student example. So these are all COVID related and they all show the definition features of COVID with the face mask and the one on the right has these stay at home, social distance, all of these things that indicate what they're getting at with the time period. So these are works that have been influenced by the current events, which happens to be a pandemic right now that's going on around us. So that's what we're aiming at here. It might not be like with our example that we saw on the last slide, it might just be something like technology. It might not be something going on that's so big and noticeable like a pandemic. It could just be technology related. It could be medically related if you have some type of something going on. Um, anything. So for our last part, before getting into what we're doing with all of this, is that you're going to make either a trifold board or a poster. So this, we're going to bring back our research that we did in the very beginning, bring it back. So we're going to take that. So you're gonna have your three artworks that you found. You're gonna put those in here, right where these images are. It does not have to be laid out like that. This is an example using Andy Warhol. Um, I thought they did something pretty close to what I'm trying to get at. They have, three images from work that they've done. Um, of course, you won't have just one artist's name. You'll probably have the title of your portrait project. 
um, and then all of these text things will be the research that we've done along the way. So you'll be able to put your research and the brainstorming stuff all up on display to show your process. So what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to show our process of how we went from researching and historical event and past artwork to finding out how things around us can tie into our artworks and influence our art, such as with COVID and the COVID pieces I showed you guys right here, like wearing masks, so you can't see the facial features or how it contradicts with our everyday life with this one. So we're going to be taking this board or poster, whichever one you decide, it will either be a trifold board or a poster though, with all of our research, the images from it, and then we will take our work of art as well. And we are going to be displaying it. So we're going to set up like our own little art gallery and we'll all be there and the community can come in and they can see all the work of art that you guys have been doing. And this work of art will probably take a couple of weeks for us to complete and then putting it all together with the research and the board. It'll be a long project, so being able to display it and show everybody that'll be a fun way to kind of wrap up the project and be able to show the community um it will be also a good opportunity and experience for you guys to get for presenting your findings and information and if you want to go into the art world it kind of gets you into having a sort of critique and a show of your work because this will be more of an art show showing your work with you next to it with your board and that is the end of my powerpoint so that is what we're going to start be doing and i'm excited to see what everyone's work is going to turn out to be you have a lot of freedom with this um of course with choosing your event and then, well, that's from the list, but we're gonna choose our event. We're going to do a little research on it. We're gonna start figuring out what we wanna do for our self-portrait. And we're gonna do our self-portrait, make our boards, and we're gonna present it. And it will be a really interesting opportunity. So I'm excited for everybody. And I hope you guys are too. So that will be all for today. So have a nice day, everyone.